dream wide broken We've seen that all was lost Would you be the future? Could you pay the cost? You were, will there ever be a second time around? Whoa, when it's over and the moment has come Say my lord, I think I found someone And no one would be better to put it together for the second time Time over, a different hand to play. Deeper we fall, the stronger we stay. We will be better. Seconds on the What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another special episode of Booze and the Dudes. Another special one. Wow, Pop- we don't get many of them. That's a sad thing. Pop Dog. Mm. <laughs> Yeah. Mm. All right, guys. Um, welcome back just once again. So today uh, we have a guest. Um, I guess technically, doesn't this this episode makes us intercontinental? Um. Yeah. Well, we've been, right? I don't think we've talked to anybody else out of the States. Oh, well then, yeah, yes. Okay. So like Shark Club, uh, I, you know, I'm a TikToker. I'm a fan of that stuff. Um, and- TikToker slash stalker. Yes, stalker. <laughs> and uh, one day, you know, I'm flipping and uh, I see this thing for uh, a show called The Punk Rockette. And I'm like, I fucking love punk He's music. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love punk music. So, yeah, it, it was funny the first time, Shooter. All right. <laughs> so after, you know, I've started listening to the show and I was hooked because it's talking about a topic I love, punk music. Sass, this sassy here loves punk music a little bit, but not as much as me, I would say. Mm-hmm. But um, without further ado, it is the host of the Punk Rocket, Emily. Say hi, Emily. Hello. <laughs> you know, one thing I've always really liked about your show is that you you come off crazy positive. Oh, thank you. I'm very surprised you discovered me on TikTok because I thought there was the not punk rockers there. <laughs> Well, for, for the most part, there isn't. They are very hard to find. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, like, okay, finally, maybe someone mm-hmm. is going to listen to the show. <laughs> yeah, they're all going to be 40 and older. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, Just kidding. first off, no, you're not. First mm-hmm. off, uh, let's go ahead and, you know, tell us about your show. Uh, what inspired it? Oh, it's a long story because I've been hosting a weekly radio show here in Quebec City since... It's going to be a long story? Okay, never mind. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I've been hosting a radio show here uh, for 17 years now, So, but in French. So I was really focused on my local scene here in Quebec City. And then I was like, okay, maybe I need a new challenge and I want to interview bands i liked since i'm really young and i want to discover new people well you said 17 years how old are you 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 look like you're 21. (laughs) oh thank you i'm gonna be 38 soon well then you're right up there with us as far as like the age range you do do not look 38 at all what are they what are they putting in the water in quebec (laughs) (laughs) nothing that's the trick (laughs) (laughs) that's it (laughs) so um What are so, some of the uh, bands that what, what are some bands you first got into uh when you got into the music scene? You mean music in general? Because I would answer uh, well, Backstreet Boys and Spice Girls, but <laughs> hey, Sp- Sp- I'm I'm a, awesome. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I used to be that guy, you know, in high school, uh boy bands suck. And now I'm at the gym going, show me the meaning of <laughs> being right. low. Yeah, right. You're but, secretly that guy always. But uh, I mean like uh pu- punk wise, but uh what, 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 what bands got you into punk first? I started with very pop things like Blink-182, of Spring, like the album Americana. When I was 15, I was burning CDs for everyone at school, selling it like $5. Yep. Uh-huh. And, but then I, I asked a friend, like, hey, I love this kind of music. Uh, can you burn me a CD <laughs> uh, of your favorite band? So we... He put like some bad religion, no use for a name, no effects. 
uh, yes. real big fish, some ska too. So, and I was like, okay, I like that. I want to know everything about this. So I started to, uh, to explore punk rock and I still do. I'm not done yet. <laughs> Discovering good, band. Good. Now, am I the only one? I want to be honest here. I've throughout the years of punk rock, it's so hard to find a punk rock band that where the voice matches the the sound you know it's like it's almost like a prerequisite to sound shitty to be a punk band uh, i don't know well you know am, am i the only I harsh think, critic well, i think what you're talking about is some of those like super hardcore like dark punk bands where when they're singing they're like like that well i mean call it what you want but like they're all studio oh they claim to be punk but they were all like major studio punk bands yeah kind of, yeah you yeah. know I- it made it hard for me to accept that they were punk when it's like they were like number one seller punk at the time. You're like, wait, you're just dropping an album. How is it impossible? You know, it's, mm. it seemed like they were supposed to be there, paid for punk. So, um, uh, Emily, I'm going to paint you a, a picture before I ask the next question. So, I don't know if you know um, the geography of America. We, uh, yeah. We're from Southern California, you know. Oh. Yeah, we're, we're about like an hour. <laughs> yeah. Trust me, it's not all it's cracked up to be. But uh, we're, we're about an hour away from Hollywood and Disneyland. But, but we have the best homeless. <sighs> oh. But um, so when, when I was in the punk scene, um, you know, a lot of people uh, said that, you know, Cal- Southern California was the second coming to punk because of bands like Blink-182, Offspring, you know, No Effects and so, and so on. Um, so when I was in the punk scene, it was fun, but it was dark. There was a, everybody was very... Uh, nihilistic. Uh, there's a lot of drug use. There's less soap. <laughs> there was a real, there was a real divide <laughs> between like the hardcore punkers who were listening to the, that stuff that I was just saying. Yeah. And then the people that would listen to that, but also listen to like Blink Way too, because you know, certain punk, oh, that pop punk stuff sucks. And I'm just like, you like what you like. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that was like this here too. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, tell us what the 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 scene in Quebec is, is was like. Uh, you want to know like uh, our general punk rock music taste or the be- the local scene specifically? The local what? scene. The local scene. We have a very great local scene. A lot of bands. Um, w- back in the days at the end of the 90s, we had an amazing <laughs> skate punk scene with bands like, oh, I should send you some links. I, c- I should have sent you some links before the, inter- the, the podcast, but... Like a band like Oversights, Map, some French lyrics, uh, very political bands, um, and it's still pretty active. We still are a big family. We have more different subgenres of punk rock, if I should say, like yeah, I know what you mean. punk, uh, pop punk. So we have more diversity uh, in terms of punk rock subgenres now it's i used different. to work for this guy and he, it would blow his mind when i would tell him about the different genres not just punk but like metal you know I was like, you oh, know yeah. the, the, you got heavy metal you got black metal you Gumbo know those shrimp <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um you know um rockabilly psychabilly and you know they were all connected uh i was really good friends with a guy who had a band called the uh the subjects yeah and he would, but he became now, now from last I've heard, he's like a, a touring guitarist for a, a rockabilly band. He's homeless. <laughs> like he's not a part of the band, but like, you know, he's a, a, a studio uh, or a singer or whatever. Mm-hmm. Somebody you had, you know, like, hey, we need a guitarist. Oh, I know a guy. Yeah. But was, uh, was there any kind of like craziness out there when you go to shows or anything, you know? Did, did you walk? Did you walk in on your best friend doing a line of coke in the bathroom or anything like that? Uh, personally, no. <laughs> but nah, we had that kind of stuff. Uh, I I know that in the the end of nineties, I wasn't going to the shows at this time. I personally, I started around two thousands, but I know some people told me that. Uh, they had some problems with racist people at shows uh, and yeah, some probably some drug use, but it's not something I heard a lot. But yeah, it happened. Some fights. But today, no, I can't. No, no, no. I can't recall something like that. 
these days. And I'm going to a lot of shows beside COVID. <laughs> mm, that's good. We, you know, about two years ago, uh, I had this like OMG moment at a show. We got uh, tickets to see the Aquabats. And uh, yeah, it was a great show. And the opener, I, I'm like, why does that guy look kind of familiar? And then I look at the flyer and it was CJ Ramon. Oh, yeah. And I'm Ramones are my favorite punk band. I know he's still touring. He toured in Montreal recently, maybe like two years ago. Yeah, he had a new album. It's called like the, the, the Holy Whiskey or something like that. Um, but uh, yeah. And on top of that, I'm, I don't think you know about the, this band. I'll, I'll send you a link um, in the crowd was one of the members of this uh, punk band from Northern California called uh, Dog Dog Party. Have you ever heard of it? No, no, I don't know them. It's a brother and sister, or not brother, it's two sisters. One plays the guitar, one does drums. And I was, I did this number when I saw her. Ah! (laughs) And, you know, it was just, you know, that, that, that night was just really great. Um, Now, how about this? Let's talk about some, uh, let's talk about some of your favorite bands. Give a give give me your top five. Ah, it's it's always different. You could ask me tomorrow. I would say a total different answer. But I would say like No Use for a Name was and was the first band. I was like, this is my absolute favorite band. Nothing is better than this. <laughs> uh, so and it's still in my top five. But my favorite band right now is a Willem Scream. I don't know if you know those guys. They're American. Uh-huh. They're they're playing like fast and technical punk rock mixed with some, I would say, almost melodic hardcore, some metal riffs. Are you great raspy voice? It's really good. I haven't heard of them. I will check them out though. Yeah, definitely. I really like the Descendants too. Yes, the Descendants are good. I love that they are super genuine you know the lyrics are like super simple but so straight to the point like i love this girl she doesn't like me i'm sad (laughs) they're they're not trying to be poetic it's just raw emotions the melodies are so good are you a fan of the dropkick murphys i'm not a huge fan but i i like their song i always watch their saint patrick shows every week every year Have Uh, have you ever heard of the street dogs uh slightly yeah yeah that that's the the band that the uh old uh singer from the dropkick murphy started they're pretty good and i'm i'm i used to be the biggest uh dropkick murphy's fan because uh, like i'm irish and they're irish yeah and um i enjoy a peanut i i did this again i forgot to introduce you sorry this is my one of our co-hosts his name is life partner yeah hetero life mate Dick Sassy. But um yeah. Um but now, now huh? I think the I think the drummer in Street Dog also plays for CJ Ramones. Am I right? I'm I'm not sure. I haven't I listened. To- yeah, you'll have to check it out. I haven't listened to the Street Dogs in a while, but that's just because I'm constantly busy. I mean, right now I'm like I've uh, been listening to this band called Shark Club. Uh, they're a, in, they're not really a punk band, but they're like an indie band uh, from New Jersey. Mm. And, and we recently had the leads uh, one of the one of the singers on mm-hmm. like a month ago. And super disappointing, he doesn't have a thick Jersey accent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, and she and she has a thick French Canadian accent. <laughs> yeah, there you yeah, go. and ours is totally Californian, so. You know. Yeah, I mean, I'm happy because I can understand you very very well. T- not always the case sometimes oh. i have problems with some accent because i'm not used enough um is the is the, is the uh, predominant language in quebec french or is it english no it's french we have a little english community in montreal area but we our official language is french I in Quebec. Mm-hmm. you walk by the english community and it's just like yeah, yeah like totally that's all you hear mm-hmm. I when I first got into punk rock, I, I the first album I ever bought was Never Mind the Buzzcocks, you know, the Sex Pistols. Now I can't even really listen to them once I found out, you know, about about uh, how they were formed. Do you know the story of how they were formed? 
I'm not a good old punk rock, old school history historian. Uh, so, yeah. Well, uh, oh, I, I, little... their first album it was great, so I would rock that all the time. But then I found out that um, really they were they were like a boy band. This manager is like, hey, I just need to make a a band so I can make oh. some money. Yeah. A little on the disappointing side. Um, <laughs> But I was a fan of the Backstreet Boys, so, you know. Oh, yeah, so was I, totally. And, you know, I, I, back then, too, I didn't care. Like, I wasn't ashamed. I didn't care who knew. You know, it was like, I loved metal. I loved all types of music. But, you know, that's because my, my parents were like that. It, it is what it is. Did you, were your parents big fans of all types of music? or? Well, my mom was a real big, my mom is a real big Beatles fan. Okay. Like. My mother is very easy to shop for uh, at at Christmas time, and <laughs> just gets get her something Beatles like. Oh, that's cool. My and, dad loves classic music. He always listened to his classic vinyl. <laughs> I too, yeah, right you, got, you got to respect the classic. Um, yeah. Did you know there's a connection between the Ramones and the Beatles? A real connection? You mean what? T- because for the music style, I can hear, I can hear it's, some connections, but um, it a, it's their, story? it's their name. Uh, they got their, their name, the Ramones from the Beatles, because they found out that Paul McCartney back in the day when he, he was uh, uh, booking a, a hotel, he would book under the alias Paul Ramone. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. And. Uh. Yeah, the Ramones are my favorite punk band. But um, okay, um, we're gonna we're gonna kind of slow this down just for a little bit. So we are going a bit fast. It's a bit yeah. crazy. Oh. <laughs> go good, go good, bucks. Oh, there it is. Um, no, 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 no. So if you could name like a three favorite songs, can you? Do you think you can do that? <gasps> like okay. I would say my fir- my favorite song ever is probably No FX The Decline because it's 18 minutes. <laughs> Have you ever heard that song Idiot Son of an Asshole? Yeah. I uh, I can The Decline huh? The Decline The Decline is amazing cuz it's uh unfortunately the lyrics are always accurate. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and it such a great song it's like five songs into one i love the lyrics i love the punch he made i'm working on a decline cover with someone these days Ooh, yeah. cool. <laughs> i'm so, i'm a fan of that song uh creeping out sarah yeah uh-huh. cuz he's actually crept out sarah <laughs> <laughs> why is everybody laughing so hard but no like um i I got kind of curious. I want to I'm see. I'm a big if- fan of that song. <laughs> Restraining order. <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy. Yeah, hey, I wanted bro, to see bro. if there was a uh, any kind of interview. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to see if there's any kind of a uh, interview with Tegan and Sarah about the song, and I found one, and they're they're like, you know, we're never going to talk to him ever again. Mm. It's because in the song he. Uh, 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 he shitting on him. No, he basically asked if they had a three-way together with another chick. Oh, that's not appropriate. And they're they're sisters. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, weird. yeah, yeah. But yeah, I always yeah. wonder if how they reacted to this song. I wondered if he asked them before or. I don't think so, but then again, then again, he he only says the name Sarah. It's not like he says her her full name. So in his. He, legally, he could say that, like, it's not that Sarah. Yeah. Yeah. But after he said, maybe it was Tegan. So we kind of like it, this. <laughs> this argument. <laughs> <is hard. laughs> All right. I keep I keep I keep peeping the uh, the bad religion post in the back. Um, favorite, yeah. bad re- favorite bad religion song. Oh, my God. Um, mm, 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 I really like punk rock song. I, I don't think I know that one. This is just a punk rock song. Really? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a little, I have, yeah. I have a little bit of a. Uh, what the? F- I have a little bit Don't of a. Um, You're going crazy. A bad religion story. So, oh. yeah. About it. If you know you, uh, you, you, 
the punkers at my at my place, you know, they basically looked like homeless people. I had to stop hanging out with them once I realized that they were getting up at five o'clock in the morning to spike their hair. I'm like, dude, just st- sleep. Um, mm-hmm. But so one one day I made my own bad religion uh, uh, patch. And then one day I'm just walking by in my jacket and this Christian lady rips it off. My Lord, Jesus Christ. Da, da, da. When the cops came, she lied and said, no, I tripped. <laughs> and then she caught herself on your. Patch. Yeah. 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 Oh, oh. Funny. you know, you t- should have told her God works in mysterious ways. <laughs> uh, had I not had this patch on your head, yeah. would have hit the ground and you'd be dead. All right. Because We're, she's old, I would have assumed she knew how to sew. How long? How long have we, we been going? Only twenty minutes. All right. That's I, amazing. <laughs> you're, the, you're the worst host. You never you're ask anybody host. what time it's going. Oh my god. Well, I apologize. I, I don't. I don't want to keep for, her up for late, this old man. I don't want to keep her up late. Right? Relax. Um, Relax. Oh. I'm on my chair with a blanket. I have a tea. I have a beer. Everything is fine. See, there you go. How how cold is it up there right now? Oh shit! It's like, uh, wait. I'll tell you exactly. I don't know in Fahrenheit because here it's in Celsius. Is, is the wind <laughs> like, blowing oh. five degrees north? north. <laughs> Come on. Uh, minus yeah. eleven Celsius. Yeah. <laughs> That's cold. So Wait, I couldn't say. Yeah. We have some right. fan questions right from uh, SG here. Oh, we do. How can you? Yes. One, one of our other uh, hosts is at Disneyland right now. And uh, I guess he just te- texted some questions. Oh. And 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 our our friend SG is uh, he's like the music guy of the group. He listens to oh. everything. Everything. Yeah. Oh. Okay. At the top or? Okay, so I I converted Celsius, so it's twelve Fahrenheit. Okay. Ooh, so it's cold out there. Yeah, and it's icy okay. everywhere. Everyone is falling on the streets right now. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So Most SG cool. <laughs> SG is asking, what was your first punk show? Everyone asking me this, and I can't really remember because, but I think it's a local show with one of my ultimate all-time favorite band called MAP, M-A-P, like MAP, mm-hmm. uh, and I... At this time, I, I did a featuring with my very old, old, old friends band. <laughs> right on. Uh, you get a, you get a lot of good guests on your show. Who would yeah. be like who would be like the, the ultimate guest for you? Like like who would you uh, fa- fangirl out for? Mm, I would love to have Brody Dale from the distillers. Mm. And oh. maybe Fat Mike. Because I have a lot of questions for him about his songs. I could ask him for uh, Tegan and Sarah. <laughs> yeah. And he's a he's a total <laughs> character, <laughs> you know? No. So well, I he would writes some good him. songs. Huh? But he writes some good songs. Oh, yeah, sure. He, he yeah. also, I'm sorry, this is, this yeah, is uh, big bucks. I'm, I'm producing the show. I thought, uh, I thought on. DK here had it, but uh, evidently I was wrong. Uh, I got a couple of questions. So he says, uh, SG did mention uh, during your bubble bath listening, do you <laughs> drink wine and liquor while listening? I read that. I didn't think it was appropriate. What? You drink, like wine while I'm listening sure. in the bath? Yeah, I do a lot listening? of in the bath yeah <laughs> that's what he put i don't know the punk racket hey uh who's a big star up there G- george st pierre right does everybody uh, like yeah. yeah in his field yeah yes one of them. who's ever another big star up there i guess uh gretzky is gerard depardieu still a thing yeah <laughs> Celine Dion. you know who bret hart is mm-hmm. That's Calgary, yeah. dude. I know that, but he's 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 a legit Canadian star. He's like he 70, a Canadian bro. star. He's like seventy, like oh, Canadian. Yeah, okay. I thought you mean in, in Quebec, but because we have Celine Dion. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Oh my god! Uh, <laughs> All yeah. right. Well, I've got. Uh, remember, I told you I wanted to ask you um, about. Kind of, I you know, love punk rock music, 
but he, me and uh, Sassy here are humongous uh, movie nerds. Yeah, you told me that. Yeah, and like I'd said before, he, he like, uh, what Sassy says, we've forgotten more movies than people have seen. So I had three movies I wanted to ask to ask you about. Two of them are punk related, and one is uh, Quebec related. Okay, I'm not. I'm not a a movie a nerd, but try. <laughs> yeah, I figured. I'm not sure. <laughs> I figured it's going to be a lot of no. <laughs> Probably. So, uh, but um. Okay, let's go. I'm ready. All right. The first one is a documentary called "End of the Century." No, I haven't seen it. It's the documentary. Yeah, when you said you had some punk rock related movies for me, I was like, I'm taking notes. Yeah, okay. um, this is a documentary about the Ramones. Um, oh. It's a real, it, you know, spans their entire career. Um, the craziest thing about this movie, though, is, is that you find out basically that all of the Ramones hated each other. Like, mm. constantly, yes. J- Joey hated Johnny because uh, Joey's girlfriend uh, left him for Johnny. Oh, uh, that's... Yeah. Kind of put some tensions in a band. <laughs> yeah. Um, DD hated uh, Tommy. He thought he was useless. And I was like, damn. <laughs> He's like, they, they asked him, do you think Tommy was uh, important to the sound? And he goes, absolutely not. We can get any drummer. I was like, damn. That's very funny. Yeah. And next, uh, SLC Punk. SLC Punk. Nope. <laughs> It's, uh, it's it's a movie about uh, SLC stands for Salt Lake City, which uh, I don't know if you know. It's Salt Lake City is a city in Utah, predominantly Mormon, uh, and these two punkers in the 1980s it predominantly has no Salt Lakes. <laughs> yeah, um, and it's about these two punkers who are trying to figure out who they want to be because they've just now graduated from college. So they're trying to figure out who they are. It's very existential. There's a sequel. It's not very good. Watch it with that word. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, lastly, and you, I, I now that now that I know um, your age range, maybe you'll get this one. Uh, Hello? The dog who stopped the war. Ah, and, and it's Quebecois. Yeah, uh, it's I saw it in English, but it was in French. And it's a uh, it's about oh, these. Yeah, yeah it's uh, a kids movie. Uh, it's about these two gangs of kids who are basically um, on winter break, winter vacation. They're oh, basically like, yeah, I'm sorry. Of course I know. It's La Guerre des Turcs. La Guerre des Turcs. Of course I know that. Well, I, have yeah, no idea, so I have no idea what you just said. It, I said the, the original title in French. Oh. It's like, uh, it's in, uh, actually, God damn it, DK. <laughs> we applaud. What the guy. She She's from fucking Quebec. We're I know. Gonna say that the, the title in French. We're we're, we're gonna I, replace this this dinosaur soon. I never knew the I never knew the traduction because in French it's a uh, hat war. That's the title in French. It's not hey. like the dog. <laughs> 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 she's, she's, look, look. Yeah, we we, we Google guy. translate shit in, yeah. from English to French. It's awful. Yeah. It's, an amazing movie yeah of course <laughs> are you a fan of the red green show the red green yeah that's that's one yeah red green it's well, a that's canada it's a it's a canadian show but well, it is in like english no, like like it's more the nova scotia area got big at first you know? oh no i don't know that we're starting to kind of get into like canadian um tv shows i just found a new one i have to show you you're gonna die of laughter if it has a lot of trees <laughs> no, I love it. But all right. And oh, I want to I want to watch La Garde Turc now because of you. Thank Cleo. you. Cleo. Hey, it's the, the, the sad ending. Yeah, Cleo. Oh. Cleo. Bro- broke my heart. I saw it <laughs> when I was a kid on Disney cuz the Disney Channel used to play shit. I'm warped. I'll probably laugh to be honest. Oh. You're cold blooded. Does Mickey Mouse have a French accent in Canada? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have all kind of translations. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course. Imagine Mickey sounded like the way yeah, he sounds yeah. like. But most of our translations uh, are made in Switzerland or France. We don't have a lot of Quebecois translations here. <laughs> 
Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Mm, goodness. Because Quebecois is really different from the French of France, for example. Yeah. I keep hearing that, like, Quebec wants, Quebec wants to, like, uh, secede from Canada or something like that. Is that true? We have what? Cécile? What did secede. <laughs> like, like it means be, separate. Separate from, a, become their own country. Oh, become independent. Yeah, we had two, yeah, we had two referendums in the past uh, in uh, in the 80s and in the 90s and we said no in the 90s and nine uh, it, it was almost equal but no so for now i would say that maybe 35 percent of people would say yes so it's not a big a big topic here but yeah there still are a lot of people who, uh, who wish that because we i, I kind of understand because our language is a part of our culture and it makes us, I think, very different from the rest of Canada. We have other like opinions sometimes, so I can still understand, but I don't think it's a it's still a big thing here. You're not big on politics, right? What? You're not big on politics. Me? <laughs> yeah. Uh, it depends. It depends about what. But about this topic, if we had a, a referendum now, I wouldn't know what to vote. <laughs> right on. For, for this All right. Question. Well, I know it's late over there, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, let you go. But uh, why don't you go ahead and you know plug your show? And if you want your radio show, who knows? Maybe some assholes can find it. <laughs> so I'm hosting the Punk Rocket Show podcast. It's available on platforms like Spotify, Google Podcast, and apple um so i interview guests i try to find some recommendations from bands from all around the world small bands oh, oh that reminded yes. me yeah. i wanted to give you a recommendation please okay well first off are you at all into the misfits uh yeah i like the misfits mm -hmm. have you ever heard of a band called balzac no where all are right. they from uh they're from japan oh nice they are the Japanese misfits. Oh. Like they, they don't sound anything like them, but mm. they kind of take their <laughs> they, 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 <laughs> they, they take all their influence from the from them. And anytime <laughs> misfits tour Japan, uh the Balzac opens for them. And vice versa, too. I also have a band for you if you like misfits. Yeah. <laughs> it's a band from Montreal. It's called the Lookouts. The and they kind of sound a little similar. A so little. Yeah, a little. Mm. Pretty good. Oh. But they also have some 80s art rock influences too. Now I want to listen to Billy Ocean. <laughs> but. Yeah, so I love to dig into new bands from all around the world. That's what I like the most, actually, about this podcast. And every Sunday, I'm hosting my radio show live on Facebook. I record it and I send it to the radio station and they play it on Tuesday night. <coughs> awesome. I actually, yeah, I just, uh, I don't know if you, I, I commented on one of your live streams this morning when we were talking. <laughs> oh. See if, we, see if we can get ourselves <laughs> yeah. a play right there. Yes. I wrote in French, uh, I love your positivity. Oh, uh, thank you. Yeah, oh, it's my, sweet my little safe teddy place. bear. <laughs> You make me want to puke. <laughs> All righty. Well, yeah. we're gonna go ahead and get out of here. I want you to have a good night. Uh, I'm still going to be listening uh, to every episode. Mm -hmm. Thanks yeah. for being on. Thank you. Thank you for uh, making me discover documentaries and bands. <laughs> yeah, really watch uh, uh, End of the Century. It'll, it's really awesome. But um, definitely Balzac. Check them out. Their big, their big song is called The Day the Earth Caught Fire. Cool. Thank you, guys. Thank you. No problem. Have a good night. Fun. Bye bye. Cheers. Uh, cheers. And you really creeped me out, man. You creeped her out, man. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs>